Having good vision in League of Legends is one of the best ways to win a game. Your opponents will have a difficult time creating plays on the map if they are constantly seen by your wards, as the surprise factor will no longer be on their side. But what happens if your team does not help you ward or never plays around vision? It makes your life as a jungler harder, and now you can never be 100% sure of what the next play is. Even if you ping for assistance or type out a novel of instructions to the team, they are most likely going to ignore you. So you need to be on top of your game and ward and clear vision as best as you can. But how exactly do we establish great vision on the map, and especially from the jungler's point of view? In this video I will teach you how to play with wards and how you can put pressure on laners despite not even being near them. But before that we have the question of the day. Who was the first champion that you decided to main and why? Mine was Udyr in season 3 because I saw Trick to G play him and I got hooked on the split push and counter jungling playstyle. I had a lot of fun with that for years up until they changed Udyr and now I can't really play him anymore. But let me know yours in the comments below. Now, let's get into it. First of all, what we need to understand is that your vision playstyle changes at different stages of the game. Early game, mid game and late game. Early game is usually up to 14 minutes into the game. And that's when tower plates fall off. And your vision is supposed to scout out the enemy jungler to know their path. If we know that the enemy jungler is at least 30 seconds away from us, that opens up a lot of plays early game. Let's say the enemy jungler steps on a ward close to their Krugs, and you are bot side on your raptors. Then the dragon becomes a contestable objective for you. You can also gank mid or gank bot, and know that the enemy jungler can't interact with you, because they are on the other side of the map. That ward that spots them out on the Krugs is the key that allows you to make a play bot side. Two pink ward locations that I love, that goes unchecked for a long time, is the bush close to the red buff Krugs intersection and the bush near the wolf camp close to mid tower. I've had wards here even in diamond that last for 5, 6, even 10 minutes before they are found and these wards give a lot of good information, especially early game. Also in the early game, if you are playing a weak champion that scales into someone who is really strong early, let's say you are playing Kindred into Xin Zhao, then your early game wards are supposed to protect you from invades. Because losing one camp is not the end of the world. Dying and losing all camps probably is though, at least for the jungler. So your early game vision depends on what situation you find yourself in. And this is something that you're gonna learn with time. If you are at risk, you ward defensively. You cover your jungle entrances to see if you are being invaded and if you can trade camps. If you are even, you ward close to enemy camps to see their jungle path. If they are pathing away from you, you can look to make plays on your side. And if you are extremely ahead, you can ward deeper into the jungle in order to find kills and expand your lead. There will be games where you don't exactly have a lane to gank, because of XYZ reasons. At the very least what you can do is deny vision with a red trinket or ward for your laners. Laners can't be super aggressive if they don't have vision because then they are always at risk of dying to a gank. You basically need to be adaptable early game, and understand the pace of the game in order to make full use out of your vision, because vision is limited. This is not season 3 anymore, where you can buy 10 green wards for 75 gold each and light up the map like a Christmas tree. You have to play way smarter now. If you have wards on one side of the jungle, and all their cams are up, but they are not showing, you can safely assume that they are off the tempo and on the other side of the map. This opens up many opportunities for you to gank, invade or take objectives. In the mid game however, it's different. Now you have to work with your team to deny vision. Your support has 4 wards plus pink wards usually, and your top, mid and AD carry have access to yellow and blue trinket. So you swap over to red trinket and help your support deny vision. Also make sure to head into settings and hotkeys, and under communication tab you can find the vision ping, it's usually bound to H, but I like it on mouse button 3, which is when I press down on my scroll wheel. This gives you an enemy has vision here ping, that I barely see anyone use in lower elos and even mid elo. They usually spam the other pings, but they can mean different things. This ping is very clear. They have vision here. Very simple. This is important when it comes to big objectives like Dragon, Herald and Baron, or when you want to create a choke point that the enemy team has to walk through. If they can't see anything, then they don't know what's coming, 
there could be a Malphite Wukong Yasuo Wombo Combo coming their way, and they would have no clue. So denying vision is the goal of the game once you are in mid-game, between 14 and 25 minutes. Another rule that's important to follow, especially in the later stages, is to never waste wards randomly. You want to have the jungle warded for the side that you plan on playing, so you need to have them ready, don't waste them. Let's say we plan on pushing at top tier 2 tower. Do we need their blue jungle warded on the opposite side of the map? Most likely not. We need the red side warded, because that's where we are right now. You can't give the enemy an opportunity to engage from the fog of war and surprise you and come back into the game. This is especially important once you face champions like Fiddlesticks, Malphite or Wukong. One big ultimate can turn a game around, you've had it happen in your games, I know that you know what I'm talking about. We have all lost those games, so before you do anything like pushing really deep into a lane, you have to ward up and know that it's safe. Vision will gradually become harder to place, as you run out of item slots for pink wards, so now you have to start asking yourself the question, if I were the enemy team, where would I go in order to try and win this game? Do they death push? Do they sit back and wait? Do they have their jungler sneak past vision to try to steal Baron? What are the possibilities for the enemy team? And then you play accordingly. As long as you do your job, winning games should become easier. Yes, your laners will not always ward, but once you understand jungle pathing more and more, you will develop a sort of sixth sense of where the enemy jungler could be at all times and then it becomes easier to play. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide on how to play with Vision as a jungler. If there's anything else you want me to cover, feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you learned something, feel free to like the video. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to never miss out. But until next time, have a good day.